You know, after working with people on the streets, the homeless, for a while I've learned some new things about people, about what motivates them and what their real needs are. I have to say I didn't understand that before. And it was brought home uh, the other day when I was talking to a friend all the way on the other side of the world who's working in a third world country, um, basically with people who are dying. And most of these people uh, have no identity. They've never been registered. They have no family. No one has ever touched them. No one has ever cared for them. No one has ever nurtured them. And now they're dying alone. Can you imagine? And he said, you know, you see the, the worst of the human condition. People that are frail, uh, skin and bones. People that... Um, that have the worst kind of disease, and he said, and yet, their biggest need is not physical, it's emotional, it's spiritual. He said the one thing that matters the most is human touch, is people coming alongside of them and massaging their their skin so they don't hurt so much, or, or just touching them and showing that they care. And, uh, he said that's the reaction from that is incredible. You know, Mother Teresa had a quote, and let me get to it here, that I thought was so good. And it really says the same thing. She said the greatest disease in the West today is not TB or leprosy. It's being unwanted, unloved, and uncared for. We can cure physical diseases with medicine. But the only cure for loneliness, despair, and hopelessness is love. There are many in the world who are dying for a piece of bread, but there are many more dying for a little love. The poverty in the West is a different kind of poverty. It is not only a poverty of loneliness, but also of spirituality. There's a hunger for love as there's a hunger for God. Very sobering, isn't it? And you know, folks, the interesting thing about this all is that we have an opportunity to change it. And we keep waiting for somebody else to get involved. But there are people all around us who are in poverty. They may have food on the table. They may have a beautiful place to live, but they're lonely. And people are committing suicide every year because they're lonely because they don't have that kind of connection that they need with another person. So you don't have to go to a third world country necessarily to really begin to meet the needs of people everywhere. Not just in the West, as Mother Teresa said, but all over the world. Any affluent country have people in poverty, a different kind of poverty. So it's time that the church redefines poverty because we have to define it from a spiritual point of view. And when we do that, it's a whole different thing. It's important that we meet the physical needs of people. But I'm finding that the homeless are, many of them are there because they don't have a support system. They don't have a safety net. There aren't family or friends that will take them in if they lose everything. And so when they do, they're on the streets. Well, it's only indicative of a much bigger problem. They didn't have any connections. Folks, it is our job to make connections. You know, there's, um, there's an old saying that God wants us to represent him with skin on. <laughs> God with skin on loving people through his love unconditionally, God with skin on. So let's be aware of the people who are around us today, those people that need a representative from God, somebody to love them, to care about them, somebody with skin on. God bless you. Have a great day.